So, um, you probably know that this little amp is uh, a very good amp, um, reasonable priced, I think. Um, I have used it a lot on uh, gigs, smaller venues, even uh, somewhat larger venues. Uh, and, uh, and if it's a smaller venue, you can use it as it is. You don't even need a PA. Uh, there's a mic input so you can uh, have your vocals uh, going in here. And uh, if you want to use the house PA, I find it very good to use it as a um, monitor on stage because it has a direct out in the back that goes to the house PA. Get the sound you're used to on stage as your monitor if you like. So uh, what I'll show you today is that I found that it also works well on an electric guitar and that came as a surprise to me because it never occurred to me to try it. But it, it really does. Uh, usually I use my uh, tube amps for, for my electric but uh, I had this um, coincidence that I was uh, rehearsing for, for uh, something wh where I used my acoustic and I wanted to try my electric as well. And uh, just uh, as uh, I'm lazy I didn't want to rig up my um, tube amp so I just plugged into this one and, and it took my, me by surprise. But I'll let you hear the acoustic first now, so, so you can hear how it sounds. But I put up a dB meter here also to show you that um, this really sounds good as uh, if you're looking for a bedroom level uh, amp. It can, and can do, really do that as well. So uh, let's, let's start with the acoustic. And I have a small pedal board here. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'll turn everything off as it is now. Uh, I have a tuner, I have an equalizer, because um, it's usually good to have an equalizer on your board uh, because especially with acoustic guitars, um, different venues will, will need a different EQ, so that's, that's a very handy tool to have. And I have a small uh, overdrive um, and I use the tremolo a lot and I also have a um, delay pedal, this is just my looper. Uh, so here is the acoustic without nothing uh, engaged. And this acoustic is uh, Gibson J45. Um, it has installed an um, LR Bax Anthem SL. So And uh, if I uh, push my equalizer, take away some of the cardboard uh, sound. So to me it sounds a bit clearer in the room now, more defined if you like. And the tremolo effect on the acoustic is pretty cool. Put up the depth a bit. And uh, we can do a little loop with this acoustic. Alright, so we have that loop. I'll uh, switch to the electric. I 
think it's, uh, it's pretty okay, straight out, uh, no uh, pedals engaged. But um, I'm not sure if the same setting on the EQ will work for this, but let's try how it sounds. And pushing the EQ. It's a little bright, so I'll try and take down some of the brightest uh, here. Let's see if that's... Uh, And uh, let's hear how it uh, handles an uh, overdrive. This is a Tumnus from Vampler. Maybe with a little delay added. see on the db meter uh, i'm not sure how accurate it is but it's, it's not that far off i guess because if i'm dead quiet uh, you see it goes down to around 44 i think that's pretty normal for a room uh, sound and this is making a bit of uh, a buzz now as the overdrive is engaged but i turned down the master on this just to show you that um this will work also for a bedroom level I'm not sure how uh, many dBs that is, but... Um Probably go further down. It's almost nothing left here. So I guess that is, uh, you can see when I speak, it's around the same levels as my voice. So that should do it. Yeah, all right, let's hear some. Let's push it a bit. If I put on the loop now, we could jam a little to that with the electric.
without the overdrive it's uh, it's very nice So I really don't think I need to uh, bring my uh, tube amp belonging to a small gig where I uh, usually just bring my acoustic and this amp. Uh, and if I would like to have this uh, electric as an addition to, um, to have a bit of variations, I, I think I can do that just by plugging it into this one. It sounds good to me. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.